Hey, this is Eric, and this video is one in a series of videos on Google Meet. This video covers how to collaboratively annotate a PDF with someone else in a Google Meet using the Kami website. When you're in a Google Meet video conference with a student, a colleague, or any other participant, sometimes you may need to work on a PDF together. For example, I've heard from teachers wanting to do teletherapy sessions with a student where the child needs to practice tracing letters or shapes on existing PDF worksheets. There are many tools for annotating a PDF, but what would be great would be something that is free, easy to use, and allows for real-time collaboration between people. Well, thankfully, there is an excellent option with Kami. Kami is a website for PDF annotation found at kamiapp.com. It is a great match for this need for many reasons. It can be used on its own or right alongside with Google Meet. You can sign in with your existing Google account. You can upload any PDF that you'd like to work on. You can send a link to a student, colleague, or other collaborator. That person can then access the PDF with just the link you sent without having to sign into anything. You and your participant can then write and draw on the PDF in real time. And it's all free. Let's take a look at how this works. First, I will start off as normal by creating a Google Meet and having my student join me. Next, I need a PDF document that I want to work on with my student. In this case, I have a PDF file for a simple letter tracing activity. Now I will head to the Kami website at kamiapp.com. Next, I will click on the sign in link at the top. And I will choose to simply sign in with my Google account. I will choose my account and scroll down to click the allow button to give permission. The first time you sign in, it may ask you what you're using Kami for and you can fill that out as needed. Now that I'm signed into Kami, I will open the PDF that I want to work on with my student. I can do this from Google Drive, or I can choose to open it from my computer. And now I have the PDF opened in Kami. I will now want to get a shareable link for the PDF to give to the student I'm working with in Google Meet. To do this, I simply click on the Share Document link in the top right-hand corner, and then click Upload to save the PDF in Kami. I now have a shareable link and I can simply click the copy option to copy this link, which will allow anyone else to annotate the PDF with me. At this point, I'll go back over to Google Meet to give this link to my student. In Google Meet, I'll click on the chat icon in the top right-hand corner to open up the chat panel, and then I will paste in the link and send that to my student. Now let's switch over to the student view where the student can open the chat panel and click on the link that I just sent. This will open the Kami website for the student in a new tab. If you want the student to sign in with their Google account, they can, but the great thing is they do not have to. They can simply click the Skip for Now link at the bottom if they just want to open the PDF with you. The student can now use the tools on the left-hand side of the screen to annotate on the PDF. These include options such as highlighting, leaving a comment, adding a text box, drawing on the PDF, adding shapes, and more. For this example, we'll have the student use the drawing tool to trace the letters. We'll make the line a little thicker and we'll pick a different color. And that's it. As the student is drawing on the PDF, the teacher can see all of their work. We will now switch back over to the teacher view where we can see the student's work. And of course, as the teacher, you can also annotate on the PDF along with your student. When you're all done, if you'd like to save the student's work, you can click on the download button in the top right hand corner. Here you can give the file a name and download the file. There are many other great tools for working with PDFs and some may work better than others for different situations and needs.
Cami, however, is a great option if you find yourself needing to work together with a student on a PDF in real time. So those are the basics for how to collaboratively annotate a PDF with someone else in a Google Meet using the Cami website. Check out the other videos in this series for more training on how to use Google Meet. The full list can be found at www.controlaltachieve.com slash meet videos.